the Goranaikwa compound, the Goranaikwa kraal, which is so far from the river club, it's actually laughable. It's actually nearer to Pineland Station, where the stealing of those people took place. Secondly, the area in and around the river club, if you trace that area for 800 years, I don't know what person came up with it, but you will find that this was one of the most uninhabitable places. It was a marshland, and you must understand, a marshland that was actually just wild, which was not suitable for anything. We are told that in this place, there were Khoisan burials. Now here are the chiefs who actually con were one of our uh, here, here are the chiefs from the Khrikwa, representing the Khrikwa royal house, representing the Kohokwa, representing the, 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 the various groupings here, who actually conduct these rituals, including myself. <laughs> and first thing that has to be told is that you cannot conduct a burial ritual in water. Everything to do with that ritual, which is a very complex ritual, the one thing that you will know is that you cannot conduct it in water because it would undermine the purpose and you would violate uh, uh, indigenous spirituality. It is actually, it would, co it would constitute, uh, uh, it would co constitute a complete disrespect of our Creator. Okay? Then two, Amazon is brought in. The Western Cape First Nations Collective, number one, was not the evil one who sold the land to the Lisbic Leisure Development Trust. But what is the history of this land? It was a swamp. It was later a dumping ground for all kinds of rubble. Now that the development is taking place, the stuff that's coming out of there is concrete sleepers, everything to do with rubbish that has been thrown away. Not one bone has been found. Not one artifact has been found. But you come to the question of Amazon. Amazon is what they call in the media a straw dog. They're clutching at straws. They can't knock the authenticity of the Western Cape First Nations Collective. The developer went and purchased the land from the real evil one, the government, who could have given the land to the Koi and San straight out. But they sold it to the Lisbeth Leisure Property Trust. Now, Amazon is one of the tenants. It's one of many tenants. It's maybe a bigger tenant and a smaller tenant. But it's one of many tenants. But the most critical tenant, not tenant, the most critical arena in that entire development is going to be the First Nations Heritage Precinct. Can you imagine a First Nations heritage precinct in the middle of the waterfront? Or a First Nations heritage precinct right here in the middle of the city centre? Or a First Nations heritage precinct in Canal Walk? No, you cannot imagine it because it doesn't exist. We have nothing to do with Amazon. But Amazon is not the evil. Because Amazon has many other buildings all over Cape Town. If these people are so against Amazon, why don't they go and march against Amazon here in Mulnerton? The reason why they won't go and march is because the workers who are employed there are possibly going to uh, 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 present them with a different narrative. And the workers are fairly unstable, I'm told. <laughs> You know, so, uh, so, so workers who are about to throw, be thrown out of work by these uh, 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 leisure hounds uh, uh, um, of the Observatory Civic Association, 
the landed gentry, they don't want to go and confront the workers who Amazon has footprints all over South Africa. Amazon has footprints. The second thing is, let's ask the question, why Amazon? It is to present a falsehood, is to associate the fact that the Koi and the San have won something for themselves, and then they want to use this notion of an, a company owned by the richest man in the world and take that from us. That is part of the selfishness of the Observatory Civic Association. And while we're at it, let it be known that the second deponent, the, the, the deponent of the second applicant in this court case, has for 20 years and continues to be an office bearer of the first applicant. In other words, he was at one point the chair of the Observatory Civic Association before they deployed him into the Khoisan ranks to cause division and disunity. So Amazon, to us, is a straw dog. Amazon is all over. Our fight is not with Amazon. Our fight is for us to get anchorage for our people. And we are not. It will take a war to take what we've won away from us. If you want to find out when the real war is coming, if these people succeed in taking hope that we have managed to secure from our people, the reaction is going to be intense. That is something which maybe we as leadership would have to stand aside and just watch this movie uh, downplay. So Jeff Bezos has got nothing to do with us. We didn't sign agreements with him. In fact, as far as we're concerned, we thought he's in outer space. Has he come back yet? <laughs> no, he's still outer space. <laughs>